What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how I make the foam inserts for the no prep drag tires. Uh, welcome to my garage, still a work in progress. Uh, with tearing my bicep I'm a little bit behind so eventually this will get done and I'll be doing a lot of fun projects out here. Um, so without further ado, All right, so what I have is a base plate with a bunch of spikes. Uh, this is, actually helps hold the foam into place when I'm gonna cut everything. Uh, one of the problems I had when I was first trying to do these is that the center of the foam would spin, um, which basically kind of jammed up my cutter and was tearing things up. Um, I have an outer ring of spikes that again, locate and hold it down just a two by six with some clamps on a drill press some ancient old milwaukee drill press that my dad had and then uh my hold down ring that goes here that allows me again to hold the foam so it doesn't spin so all the spikes kind of keep everything in place and uh, allow me to make donuts and foam inserts all right, so here's kind of my progression on the 3D printed tools that I made to do this. This was the first one, and I printed it with, uh, with an outdrive here to be able to plug into a drill. Uh, the problem was, is this one was too shallow for the foam, and I had actually made it with a bunch of teeth, which was way too aggressive for cutting the foam. Uh, it wound up just grabbing and kind of tearing everything apart. Um, so I had just taken a file and sharpened everything and taken all the teeth off. The other problem was, is this was too short. So this was grabbing on the cores and really tearing everything apart. Um, so the other problem was when I cut these, they were kind of smashing the foam. So they weren't coming out round. They were kind of tapered on a weird angle, which I thought was just everything getting compressed. So I changed this up and did it different on the second one. The second one, as you see, is very similar to the first one. Um, I did just try putting like a four millimeter screw and nut through. Uh, I did have trouble with it slipping, so that's why my final one, I used a good old 112 scale hub uh, with a couple screws. So it's just an old piece of uh, Delrin body post that's quarter inch with a 12 scale hub clamped on it and bolted together. But the other problem I had was with this one, no spokes or anything, no issues. It was tall enough, but it was deforming. Uh, still like the first one. So what was happening is, is the core was actually compressing the foam as it cut and went in, and then the outside one was doing the same thing. So by the time it was kind of like compressing itself, it was also tapering it. So I had a bunch of foams that were on kind of a, kind of a V look, not a, not a nice round foam like I wanted. So that was where I came up with this one. Now this one is kind of hard to tell and I didn't bring another one up with me, but it's on a taper. So, actually, one second. Okay, so this one, you can kind of see, it's not square, it's tapered. So the whole thing kind of flares out, and the reason is so that when you have the core, the core doesn't get smashed. So it just presses right in, and there's no compressing it compression on the foam so this way the core doesn't end up pulling on the foam that you're cutting and end up with this squished kind of tapered look so I did the same thing on the outside so it's a little bit hard to tell but there is a pretty good taper on this 
And this is basically just stretching the um, stretching the inner foam out and keeping the core fine and kind of stretches the outside out in this way. So I end up with foams that are pretty straight. Won't focus because of the shadow there, but they're pretty straight. So that's pretty much it. Um, basically just use some leftover uh, resin that I was trying from some other projects, made myself some 3D printed tools, and well, now I have this giant pile of chopped up foam that we're probably going to just use for packing material and orders. So uh, please, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I may eventually upload these, uh, these models to GrabCAD or Thingiverse. And uh, like, subscribe, share, click the bell for notifications. Catch you later, guys.